I'd say about 30% of all my albums have been written on the shitter. And wow. I'd say 60% of lyrics have been written on the shitter. Instead of forcing inspiration, Post Malone allows ideas to come to him naturally and organically. Do you feel like that sometimes when ideas come to you when you fucked up? Like it's a gift from somewhere? I have no idea. I think all of my ideas are kind of like mistakes. It's like, because you never wake up and say, today I'm going to write congratulations or any, or any song. It is an accident. It is just like a spur of the moment type deal to where you're like, let me sing this melody over this beat or let me make this beat even. It just kind of happens. I don't know. Post Malone believes that the songwriting process can't be controlled or predicted, and we should let it come up naturally. There's a certain magic that goes into making a record, or if you're a painter, a painting, or if you're a dancer, a fucking cool dance move. I think they're all related in some way. Yeah, there's something there that yeah. it just kicks off, and you can't control it, and you can't yeah. say when it's going to happen, but it just happens. Music has nothing to do with business. Business is on the back end. I think music at the end of the day has nothing to do with fucking business. Music has to do with people. If you're reaching out saying, hey, I have this song, and like, as a precursor to everything, I'm saying that you can't go out and try to go for, oh, this person's hot right now. I want a song with them so I song blows up. Yeah. It's important that it makes, it's organic. It's not like, like two artists, it's two artists with each other and say, let's make something. And then if somebody does something for my album, I'm in the studio the first chance I get. Post Malone consistently tries to create fresh and unique music. On this next album, we're doing a lot of cool, very fresh type stuff. I've probably used the adjective fresh for every single album or oh. song that I've ever well, put out. Well, it's working, so keep using it, man. <laughs> yeah. Kinda... He balances his desire for innovation with his consideration for his fans' opinions. I want it to be, and like I always say, not to separate my fans from me or alienate my fans, but at the same time still take that next step mm. and make something that I think is big and, and that I think other people will think is big. And protect you know? that process. Right, exactly. And and I, I'm not trying to make huge smashes. I just want to make songs that, you know, tell stories and, and, and are genuine to me that I think is really awesome. Post Malone always tries to capture inspiration in any situation. It's not the iPad no or the iPhone right. notes or the iTunes notes or whatever it is. Um, I have a special notepad off to the side where I can write my That shit. you carry with you no matter where you go. A journal. Ye yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a, it's, and you it's take a, a pen and you... Journal. Oh, it's a digital journal. Do you have a lot of voice notes on your phone with ideas? I do. Yeah. We should play them all right now. Yeah, why don't you break some out? All right. No, I can't do uh, that. There's no way. I know. Did you Have you recorded one recently? Are you still, do you still lay them down? Yeah. Whenever I'm on to something, now it's just more my notepad now. Because yeah. I'm, I'm thinking and I'm like, that sounds cool. That sounds cool. Post Malone uses music to fight depression. I remember like almost my entire, the last year of middle school, the first year of high school was, I didn't sit with anybody at the lunch table and I just sat there with my head in my hands and I was just like, I don't know and I don't understand and I don't know what the fuck is going on with anyone. Did you go to your parents and say, listen, man, I'm in trouble. I'm, I'm not. No, sir. You, right? You can't go to anybody. It no, feels no, like sir. there's no one. Yeah, it's the worst. What did you do to pull yourself out of this depression that you were in? It was music. Music? It was music took me out. Yes, sir. Post Malone stays true to himself. Honesty is his priority. That's very important. The whole thing I want to do is just be fucking honest. Mm. And be honest with my music, honest with the marketing, honest with the whatever the virality of things are like just be genuinely honest and this is what it is i love you listen if you'd like to do what's right for you it's not choosing whether you you're like oh i don't have to do that because i i play arenas i headline festivals right it's just like whatever makes you comfortable because at the end of the day you just got to be comfortable with what you're doing when everyone looks outwards for inspiration he looks inwards. I feel like a lot of people look outward for inspiration, especially, you know, in COVID and everything. And everybody's had a lot of times themselves, and I've kind of realized, like, you got to look inwards for inspiration sometimes. 
One line is all he needs to start creating the whole song. And just getting like... I guess a lot of songs start with just a one-liner, you know? Like, I mean, that's every fucking country song ever, mm. right? It's mm. You got a great one-liner, and then the rest Build of the song it. comes after. Build yeah. around it. You know, and, um, you know, those great, like, reprises and those great taglines. And... Inspiration should come naturally and can't be forced. I want to make music for me and my fans. Whatever that sounds like to me or whatever comes out in the studio, it's just, it happens naturally and you can't force anything. Post Malone and his guitar. I think the guitar now is more of like, I don't know, a vessel of expression. And for, for I use it more as a songwriting tool to figure out chords, because this is, this is the most, you know, um, accessible thing for me to figure out chords, because I can't play the piano. He lets the lyric guide the song instead of the instrumentation. I sat in my room and I was like, oh, I'm trying to replay the chords in my room on an FL and trying to, like I said, I can't play piano for shit. I was like, okay. Da -da 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 -da. And then, so it was, I just kept the note played out the whole time mm. and just let, let the lyrics of the song guide the song instead of the instrumentation. When he loses his passion for making music. There was a moment to where I lost my passion to make music. You know, it's like, it becomes a job. I was just a kid, you know, and making music and I had all these songs and everything, but it became a job, you know, with labels and touring and everything. And it gets so hard to actually focus on why you're there. You know what I mean? For, you know, whenever you, what you love to do at a certain point, it becomes your job. Mm -hmm. And then it gets very hard to say, am I actually doing this for me and my fans or am I doing it to have a living, make a living? You know what sure. I mean? Um, but it, it got to a point to where I was like, yeah, I do like fucking music. That's like, I love making music. This is what like I'm supposed to do. Like, this is what makes me happy. In the studio, what is his process? When you write the, uh, an album, uh, uh, forgive me, but I, how many songs do you write and do you whittle it down to 12 of your favorites or something? Man, I mean, there's usually I just go in and have an abnormal amount of Bud Light and go into the uh, booth and just kind of sing over beats and wait until I find a good melody and then sit down and write it. So, And we've done that probably a hundred times and then just shift through them and then see which ones are smush hits.